of Ali Pro. They sent over some beautiful body wave hair as you'll see in the tutorial. Um, before I get to the tutorial really quickly, this is their body wave hair. I have in three bundles of 20 inch body wave and then one um, 4x4 lace closure. I've been really into the lace closures lately so that's what you guys have seen a lot but I will be switching it up and going back to some frontals here pretty soon. The hair did not come in this beautiful I don't know what you call it, like a burgundy wine color. Perfect for fall. Um, it came in a natural brown color and I went ahead and dyed it. So I achieved this beautiful, bright, vibrant wine color without any hair bleach. I just used the L'Oreal, I believe it's the true color or the high color. You guys will see in the tutorial. Um, I only used three boxes and I did kind of mix it because I kind of wanted to custom make my own color. Um, I used, I believe it was two boxes of the magenta and one box of a red color. I have the exact color colors that I used linked down below and then you'll see them very clear in the video as well um, and I just left the dye on for about an hour and I got this beautiful color let me show you guys what it looks like from the back this hair took the color so well and the camera is not doing it just as how vibrant the color is so I'm gonna jump into the tutorial and then I'll be back with my thoughts on this hair also, before we even get into the tutorial, don't forget to hit that like button. It'll help me out so much. Now let's get into the tutorial. So hopefully that was self-explanatory. I basically used three boxes of that L'Oreal um, hair dye. It was, I believe, two boxes of the magenta and one box of a red color. You guys seen it in the video and I also have it linked down below. Um, those were actually on sale at Sally's. It was like buy, buy two, get one free. And I think each one is like five bucks. So it's very inexpensive and you don't need any... Um, bleach which is the best part about it because it's almost fail proof when you use bleach you run the risk of like damaging the hair but when you use a um a hair dye like that with just developer it works out great um, so I did use a 40 volume developer um, you can use a 20 or a 30 I recommend a 30 if you're a beginner but the 40 is just a little bit stronger and I just wanted to make sure that the hair um, 
really really took the color um and that it came out as vibrant as possible which is why i went with the 40 the 40 pretty much is the strongest you can purchase like at sally's um and it did amazing i think if i would have used the 30 it still would have came out this vibrant but i knew i only had like an hour to let the hair process so i did not want to go lower and it came out super perfect um, the camera does not do it justice. It's definitely much more vibrant um, in person. Also, what I love is that this hair was originally body weight hair. And um, I did let this hair dry overnight after I um, processed it and rinsed it out. And the hair still had its natural wave, which is so bomb because sometimes when you use like a hair dye, like a bleach, um, it'll kind of strip the hair of its natural texture. And that didn't happen with this hair. So if I wanted to wear like curly, um, like natural body wave, I could still do so. It's the only thing about wearing body wave hair um, when it's like freshly bleached like this is that it may transfer. Um, I haven't experienced any transfer or anything like that thus far but if I would wear this hair in like the natural body wave texture with this color on it like trying to wash it and I'm sorry um, add water and scrunch it every day you might find that if you wear like light color shirts or your pillow might get a little bit of the color stain on it so it's best to um, opt for dry styles like straight or you know like curls or something like that when you color your hair but of course you can do that as well um, as far as dyeing the hair goes I did just use a big black trash bag I find that to be the easiest way to um, protect the area um, the surface or like my countertops when I dye hair and then I just let it process I didn't put a foil on it or anything like that which if you put the foil that will help as well to process faster um, I used my Tresemme shampoo and conditioner to wash it out um, First, I used the Isoplus to stop the bleaching process one time, and then I used the Tresemme one time, and then I used the um, Tresemme conditioner that comes with it one time. And both of those are moisturizing conditioner to make sure that the hair still was, you know, healthy and kind of restore the natural moisture to it. I believe this hair was shipped via FedEx. If it wasn't, it was DHL, and it shipped within two, I think it got here in three business days, which is awesome. And yeah, I hope that you guys check out this color. It's super, super beautiful. It's flattering for all skin colors, skin tones, and it's perfect for fall. So don't forget to check out Ally Pearl. I have all the information as well as the links to this hair list down below. Um, any questions you have, answer and I will respond. Um, products that I use, as always, I use my... Um, Carry Care Silk and Sheen Spray for Shine. I used my mousse to kind of flatten out the top and get rid of any flyaways. And I used my trusty favorite Babyliss Flat Iron as well as my Hicks Edge Control. Um, this I haven't used in a while, but I've been using it a lot lately. Also, I use my Kenner Volumizing Spray. This is the generic um, GVP version of that. I've never used this spray before. So I've heard good things about it for adding like body to hair so I'm definitely going to try it out a little bit more whenever I do um, like curly hair curls in my hair and yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your friends and as always I'll see you in the next one